Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. This article today comes from WOR and it reads, Bomb Red One tracking at $36 million opening. It has a budget of $253 million. This article comes from Jordan Rumi of the World of Real. Let's read into this because I did see a trailer for this film. Did look like it's kind of going to be like a comedy film, maybe something for the family. You know, it kind of fits the holiday season. Decent cast. I did not know this budget was $253 million. As you know, I'm watching the trailer. I'm trying to see what costs so much money, but let's read into this. Amazon slash MGM's worst fears are painfully coming to fruition. Pug Mats Belloni is reporting that Red One, which stars Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans and has a $253 million budget, is currently tracking to open in the $36 million range. Honestly speaking, that feels high. I'm thinking it will open on the low 20s. Amazon had originally dated Red One to release on December 20th, 2024, which makes sense because it's a Christmas-themed film, so the fact that they pushed it up could be a bad thing for this film, to be quite honest. It just doesn't make sense. However, it then got delayed by 11 months. It is now set for release next month. Last December, Deadline reported that Red One dated for November 15th, 2024, and it had tested twice, and the scores were through the roof. I automatically stamped a red flag on this report, given it that it was the opposite of what I had been hearing, and that more than likely likely Amazon leaked the high test score story to the trades to get ahead of another story that was about to hit the film. Well, lo and behold, after the In Snyder reported that the test screenings had actually gone terribly for the film, a story soon arrived in late April via The Wrap that the budget on Red One had ballooned to a catastrophic level. Apparently, Dwayne Johnson was partly to blame as the actor was frequently late to the set seven to eight hours on average. Wow, that's crazy. And would sometimes just not show up. His behavior cost production over $50 million. This is a quote. Dwayne truly doesn't give a F. One insider bluntly <laughs> told The Wrap. That's an end quote there. Uh, he would go by Snyder's piece recounting the hideous test scores. Red One is being described as an unmitigated disaster and being described as ChatGPT's idea of what a commercial four-quadrant film should be. Red One is directed by Jake Kasdan. He helmed Johnson's two Jumanji films as well as Bad Teacher, Sex Tape, and Walk Hard. And that is the end of that article. Guys, what do you think about this? Have you heard anything about this Red One film? Like I said, kind of surprising to me that this film cost $253 million, but when The Rock, aka a, you know, Dwayne Johnson, or I should say Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, shows up seven to eight hours late on set, you're pushing production back, and that can be expensive. I'm surprised he's still getting roles. I guess he makes that much for studios. It seems like the last couple movies he's been in have not been performing well, so it is interesting that he keeps getting these high-profile roles in these big films. But hey, man, you know, we've heard this about Dwayne Johnson. Um, I know the Vin Diesel stuff the Fast and Furious, that whole debacle, there was some light shed on that as far as what was going on on set and why they did have a rift on set when they were making those films, which led to Dwayne Johnson parting from the series for a little bit. Now he is back. We will see how Fast and Furious continues the franchise. Hopefully they stop shooting these movies, but if these movies make money, obviously the studio will continue to pump them out. But yeah, as far as Red One goes, man, $253 million on this movie. I don't know how they expected this movie to make any money. I mean, to break even, you'd have to make probably $750 million at minimum. This movie's just not going to have that type of push behind it. Um, obviously, they said the release dates have been shifted a couple times. That doesn't help as well. But overall, what do you guys think about this? Are you guys going to be watching Red One? Let me know down in the comments. What do you think this movie's actually going to do on the opening weekend? Definitely want to hear what you guys think about it. With that being said, subscribe, 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 like, share with a friend, ring the bell for notifications, and as always, be safe. It's Neff signing off.